Hey, bub. We have one last episode, at least right now, of these to film. These are the donated boxes from our friend who, again, wants to remain anonymous. But I really want to thank you, dude. This has been a lot of fun opening these and to get more Wolverine cards. And a lot of the cards we've gotten actually are adding to our set. We didn't get a lot of duplicates of stuff we've already had from the hobby box that we opened. So to get closer to the base set and filling it out has been amazing. And we got some great hits in the last two boxes, so please go check out those episodes. We're filming these in a slightly different way. You're getting the unboxing part, you got a little intro, and then you'll get some glamour shots of these as well towards the end of the episode so you can see more about the artist and some of the stuff on the back of the cards. I just really want to showcase this product because it's beautiful. It really is. It captures the spirit of these characters. And there's characters like Shaman and William Stryker and uh, Sebastian Shaw, which are not most people's favorites, but they're drawn and painted and beautifully done in this set uh, to where there's a lot of respect given to those characters. Um, so yeah, so I really like these. So these each come with three packs and they are $34.99 on the Upper Deck website. That's where our friend bought them from. So I'll put a link down below if you wanna buy some yourself. Check them out. I highly recommend these cards. They are amazing, as you're about to see. So let's go ahead and open up the first pack. Like I said, we're supposed to get only one gold card, gold parallel, in each box of these, each of the three packs. But we actually got two in both of the first two boxes. So let's see if we can do three for three and get six gold cards total. Um, we'll see. And we got two Ultra Stars uh, in a row, like a one in a, the first box, one in the second. So let's see if we can keep it up. All right, so we got... Polaris, awesome. I'm not a big fan of her hair in this one, but it's still cool. Hey, look at that Logan shot. Ooh, that's card 100. We're missing this one. That is so rad. Yeah, our binder goes up to 99, and then there's one more page for card 100 only, and it's blank. So that's how I knew we were missing this one <laughs> off the top of my head. So that is really cool. Oh, I love that. Um, all right, and I think our next card, no, it's not our hit. So it's an alias. We've had this one before, Prisoner. 412075. Uh, so yeah, Wolverine's had many names and labels and numbers given to him in the comic books. Uh, so yeah, these alias set, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a nice peek at different versions of the character that we've had over the years. Um, all right, we got another alias back there. All right, so we got Sabretooth in the last spot. I'm trying to save whatever that hit is. I don't know what it is yet. So uh, I think it's a gold card. So we got Wolf, uh, Sabretooth. There you go. Awesome. There's a couple Sabretooth cards in this set. And then we got the green alias of Weapon X. First appearance of Wolverine from the Hulk issues. That's really cool. Why not try your luck against the Wolverine bub? <laughs> That's awesome. He looks cool with the cat whiskers and everything. All right, so got that alias, this alias, and boom! Mr. Sinister! A character that we never got in live action in the previous X-Men movies, but may see him in the future. I imagine this is untapped resource for Marvel when they create their MCU universe. He would be a great villain to put in there first and foremost, since we haven't really seen him. There's no previous actors to compare him to, um, besides the amazing people who do the voices on the cartoons and stuff. Um, but still, really awesome character. I like Mr. Sinister a lot. He's got a really interesting history, though. He goes all the way back to, like, <laughs> like the 1400s or something. Like, he just keeps creating, like, clone body after clone body. And they just keep, you know, they're not perfect and everything. Him and the Jackal would probably have a fun conversation together. And then one of them would try to kill the other one. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I really like that character a lot. And I really like the story X-Men The End, where they revealed in it, Chris Claremont did, that Gambit was actually a Mr. Sinister clone that never got, you know, taken over by Mr. Sinister. It had like a, an independent mind and he became, you know, Remy LeBeau. He grew up in the South and stuff. So I always thought that was a cool explanation of Gambit, his eyes and everything and kind of his power set. So yeah, and then some people think Gambit might have been the third Summer's brother, which they, you know, retconned that or got rid of that at some point. A lot of complicated history with these characters. <laughs> it's too much to keep up with. Um, Yukio doing her kick. Uh, right to the chest, so get out of the way. Colossus. Dude, I love Celos. Colossus was the name of Van Wilder's dog, Ryan Reynolds, speaking of, uh, in the movie uh, Van Wilder. And he had his dog, Colossus, that had a big pair of nuts on it, and he called it Celos. So that's where I get the name Celos from. Um, oh, yes, this is one of my favorite cards. We got this one already, but really cool. So anything I get that's duplicate or any inserts I, I'm not really trying to collect, they are up for trade. If you're interested, you can let me know. 
Or if my friend wants me to send some of these extras to him, let me know. You did donate these to me, so I'd be happy to send you stuff. Let me know, please. Um, I'll send you those puzzle pieces, too, if you want to build the puzzle. Um, all right, we got Quentin Choir in the back. I saw some kind of color, so I don't know what it was. Uh, so we'll save the hit for the last card. Oh, and Strife in the green. That's cool. I think we might even have that. Oh, okay, so the last card I think is it's it's a thin card, so I'm guessing it's an ultra star. But which character is it? Let's see. Bum 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 bum. Dude, no way! Wolverine in the brown and tan costume. Oh my god. I hope this costume shows up in the movie. I really do. Uh because they teased us with it at the end of the Wolverine movie, which was a, a great movie. I like that movie a lot. Um but uh wow, that's so sick. That we got a Wolverine Ultra Star. Wolverine and Cap. Oh my god, if I got Black Widow, that would be the trinity for me. Because that was, like I said, in the stack of my first comic books was the team up with Wolverine, Captain America, and Black Widow, drawn by Jim Lee. This is a major hit. I'm so, so freaking excited to have that card. That's awesome. All right, and last pack. All right, what do we got here? All right, they all line up, so no jumbalize or anything. But that's okay. We got three more of these coming at some point. I don't own a jambalaya card, actually. Um, I know I say jambalaya, but I like jambalaya food, so I say that a lot. But I know it's a jambalaya. But uh, I don't own any of those. I didn't get any in the Midnight Sunset, so who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky in the next one and get a jambalaya. We got Black Queen, though. Great card. Awesome looking. Another Weapon Hex. Wow, okay. Ever since I said I love this card, now they're just dishing them out to us. So that's cool. I'll take it. Whoa, look at this gold. Wow, that's awesome. 54 out of 90, the Black Dragon. That is great. And it's so good with the color scheme on it, right? Like, that looks fantastic. He freed Chinatown from the tyrannical reign of the Black Dragon Death Squad and its corrupt leader. So enter the new Black Dragon, Wolverine. That's cool. Yeah, there was this miniseries that they did when the X-Men were hanging out in San Francisco, uh, San Francisco like many, many years ago, and uh, Wolverine did save Chinatown. I think it's in that book. I think that's the one they're talking about. Um, but really cool. That's a great card, actually, I, in, to get in gold because of the how it matches the rest of the card. That's awesome. So we'll put it, and it's a Wolverine one, so that's great. Um, I think we got a medallion, so I'm going to save that for the last card. And uh, we got, oh, we got this in green. Wolverine versus Magneto. Oh, that's great. Fantastic card. Oh, I love this. Getting it in green is awesome. And Magic, dude. That's so awesome. I love Magic. I love this character so much. They recently did a Marvel Unbound e-pack where you could buy a, a physical card, like you buy the digital one, and you could mail it to yourself because it was like 15 bucks for one card. We did that for Legion because obviously we would. We love that show. We love the character. He has multiple personalities. So we bought that card and got it. But Magic sold out before... I could front again. Uh, fronting is what we call when we're in control of our body. So like uh, purple was at work and then blue took over for a few hours. And by the time he didn't know about the card, he wasn't like keeping an eye on it because um, he was doing other stuff with Moon Knight's cards. Um, and then so when I came back in, I was like, wait, I think that magic card came out today. And I went to buy one and they were long sold out. So I don't even think blue would have had a chance either. So we missed out on it, but it's cool to see the card here. I really love the character and I really like playing alongside her in the Midnight Suns video game. I thought that was really well done but check out this medallion all right this is to end the box thank you again to my friend who donated these this is an awesome medallion boom james howlett this i believe is from house of m so obviously wolverine everyone calls him logan they know him as logan but he actually has a birth name it's james howlett and he was born over like 140 years ago 130 years ago in canada and his mom was like sleeping with the groundskeeper while married to like an, a, you know, a rich, you know, mansion owner guy. And so he came from privilege, but he was a sickly kid. And the groundskeeper who was, you know, sleeping with Wolverine's mom, uh, his name was Logan. And he had a son named Dog who he kept out in the barn and beat him and everything. And, and Dog had this awful life. And the misdirect was that you're reading the comic thinking Dog was going to be Wolverine. And then they revealed that the sickly kid that lived in the rich mansion house, he was actually Wolverine. And then tragedy ensues. And so he gets stuck with the name Logan because the girl Rose that was a housekeeper or she like worked on the grounds or whatever, he befriended her. She decided to name him Logan because she didn't want his name Howlett to be heard 
because obviously at some point someone's going to find out rich people were dead and they were going to look for the killer and, or their missing son or whatever. So she didn't want him to be found uh, in case dog and you know his dad or someone was still alive to come hurt him. So she just called him Logan uh, after the evil people that lived it. So he's even named after bad people. Really tragic, uh, you know, uh, reveals to the character of Wolverine. But just something Paul Jenkins, I thought, did a really good job on. I mean, I didn't love the ending of Origins, the last issue. Kind of just felt standard and in a kind of man to me. But leading up to it, I was like, yeah, there's some cool twists in this story that really shine a different uh, level of the tragedy to Wolverine. Like he, like he wasn't already tragic enough. And then you find out that he's named after now the Logan name that he carried for years, like a hundred years was from the guy who essentially got his mom killed. And you're just like, Oh God, that's even worse. Like that's so much worse. Uh, so James Hallett, his real birth name. And he found that out in house of M when, you know, Wanda Scarlet, Witch gave everybody their memories back. Like, or she just made everyone's ultimate wish come true. And Wolverine's wish was to know who he was. And he woke up and he was Nick Fury. Essentially, he was running S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, which is awesome. And uh, and he uh, he found out about his past. So really, really cool. So I think that's what this artwork is from. Awesome way to end these boxes. Thank you guys for letting me ramble there. I'm going to show off some glamour shots here of some of the cards we got in this. Because we got this great medallion. We got that gold alias. We got the Ultra Star. I mean, we got three Wolverine hits in this box. An Ultra Star a gold and a medallion, and we got that gold Mr. Sinister. So each box, we hit two gold cards in each one. Three for three. That's amazing. So big shout out to my friend who donated these. And again, if you guys want to check some of these cards out, I think you'll have a great time opening them, especially if you appreciate artwork and, you know, just collecting in general um, and the characters that are involved here. This set is amazing. $34.99 for these blaster boxes. I'll put a link down below to Upper Deck. So go to that website, pick some of these up if you want. And have some fun with them. And I will definitely have more of these. As of right now, these are the only three I have. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed these videos. If you haven't seen the other ones, go back and watch them. We will have three more coming up very soon after this weekend because Deadpool Wolverine is coming out. And I think the, it'll be delivered maybe sometime early next week. Thanks so much for watching the episode. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.